just like differentiation integration also depends upon some rules for its solution so in this video we will learn two of its basic rules and uh, this is how we are going to begin the discussion of the rules that help us to integrate a given function so the first uh, uh, rule is the constant function rule and then there will be constant multiple rule so let's start uh, our discussion of these rules here the constant function rule is explained it says that if we are given a function that is y in terms of x then the uh, function which is a constant function will look like this as you can see y is equal to a x raised to the power 0 and you know when x raises to the power 0 it is actually equal to 1 so it is actually equal to a where x raised to the power 0 is equal to 1 now a is a constant this is something we have assumed and now if we integrate it how will it work integrating with respect to x and y y and x uh, on left hand side and right hand side respectively how will this happen on y uh, left hand side we have y so it's dy that we have written here and on right hand side we have uh, x raised to the power 0 so we have written dx here and the elongated s they are appearing the integral sign that has to appear on both sides so this is the integration operator that we have introduced on both sides depending upon the variable it can be dy or dx now uh, on the left hand side definitely it will remain the same however on the right hand side the arbitrary constant will appear and we will have a into x now this x has appeared which was not there before we just need to compare it with the differentiation when we differentiated uh, x it became 1 so here if we have 1 it will become x so this is the reversal here because a into 1 was there as you remember a can be written like this so uh, after integration a will remain a because it's a constant however the 1 inside will become x this is something we can see with it this is something we can also prove with the help of power rule that will uh, be there in the upcoming rules but right now we can say that if there is a constant it comes outside and the variable gets restored in this case that variable is x and we get x uh, with the constant a we already know that the constant of integration comes with every integral a numerical example let y is equal to f of x another uh, example is there and this time it is a numerical example f of x is equal to a let a is equal to 1 now we are assuming that it's not just a symbol this constant it is equal to 1 so let y is equal to 1 uh, we can uh, assume that putting uh, a is equal to 1 this function will look like this because y is equal to f of x and f of x is equal to a and we say that f of x is equal to 1 because the value of a is considered to be equal to 1 so then finally we can say that y is equal to 1 which is written here now we can differentiate it simply by uh, taking the integral we can solve it by using the integral on both sides now we have taken the integral and uh, we know that 1 will come outside and um, x will be generated when we take the integral of a function that has a constant only so this is why the answer is x and plus c is also there because that is the constant of integration so this is the final answer of the um, integral of this given function and this was by using the constant function rule now this is a diagram in which this is a good graph because it tells us the difference between the original and the integrated function here the original function uh, the primitive is actually this and this is the derivative because of the symbols but in this case our uh, journey is from the derivative to the uh, actual function because we are trying to integrate 
so this is why we uh, can say that this was the given value that is 1 where a was assumed to be equal to 1 and when we integrated it it was equal to x plus c we can't see uh, c here because we have assumed that c is equal to 0 because it's an arbitrary constant and uh, it can be equal to some non variable value which can be 0 as well and uh, assuming it equal to 0 uh, facilitates us because it's an undefined value and if it is equal to 0 then definitely uh, our uh, there will be no uh, intercept and that will be equal to 0 in other words and we will have a slope equal to 1 and uh, that's why you can see the triangle the diagram is having this slope this angle of uh, 45 degree and uh, we have I I this uh, in in answer of integration and we can see that uh, another thing is visible and that is the given function was of uh, degree 0 it was a constant function but after integration it became a linear function so this is an interesting thing that um, integration is actually increasing the degree of the given function the degree is increasing uh, if you remember in uh, the differentiation the degree of the given function decreased because differentiation is the process of you know decreasing some value by taking differences and applying certain rules so integration is the opposite so it is increasing the degree from constant to linear that is from 0 to 1 so this can happen with 1 that is linear can become quadratic and quadratic function can become cubic in nature and so on so this was the constant function rule and uh, we also have a constant multiple rule which is uh, based on the same rule in this second rule which is the constant multiple rule we assume that a uh, coefficient exists that is constant in nature and we bring it out of the integral process as we have done in differentiation let us see how we can do this this is a function that has a as the uh, constant coefficient of the function fx because it is constant in nature it doesn't have any x in it secondly it is co a coefficient because it is getting multiplied so this is why I am calling it a constant coefficient coefficient is what it is and constant is its nature that it is actually a constant free of any variable now if I integrate it on both sides I have to write the integral with the differential that is dy and dx on left hand side and right hand side respectively now this a should come outside this is the process that we have done in differentiation and here we will do the same and we can integrate the function as per the rules of integration so you can see the integration is done this is why small f became capital F this is how you know we represent the derivative and the integral uh, of, of, uh, of a certain function c is representing the constant of integration and we know that f of x is the original or the primitive function so it means that it will come outside the integral process and will be treated as a coefficient just like we did in differentiation here we have a numerical example as well here instead of a is equal to 1 we are considering that a is equal to 5 so it means that y will be equal to 5 we created this equivalence in the last example you can refer to this by uh, backwording the video a little bit uh, this is the uh, situation that a coefficient 5 is getting multiplied with the function f x and when we do this integration 5 comes out as a constant coefficient and we take the integral of this term that is the f of x plus c uh, you know about the constant of integration and uh, now we have this answer in which clearly 5 is being treated as a coefficient and uh, it has uh, the same role as it had in the process of differentiation now this is the uh, graph of the two functions that is the derivative and the original function um, this is the given function 
in other words derivative if we refer back to differentiation and in other words it is the actual given function that we have to integrate it is uh, constant in nature so it's a straight line a parallel line to x-axis at y is equal to 5 and when we integrate it it becomes a linear function and there we are the linear function is there 1 and this is 0 and uh, it's proving that whenever we integrate a function its degree increases just like we saw in the last example here the degree is increasing by 1 as it happened before so this is how this integration is done when it comes to the uh, constant functions or constant uh, coefficient situation where a coefficient is being multiplied and it's constant in nature we can integ uh, integrate them and we can plot their graphs because the graphs they tell us about the appearance of the uh, the uh, original function and its uh, integral or um, uh, the derivative and the uh, original function in another connotation we can call it like this however derivative is not being used here as such we're talking about a given function which is to be integrated and we integrate it and it bec uh, and gives us the answer of the integration of that certain function thank you